So previous study mainly in vitro have demonstrated that patients with CLL or the B cells of CLL has a, a higher number of receptors for vitamin D in comparison to normal B cells. And there were some smaller studies regarding the use of vitamin D in patients with CLL who are in wait and watch strategy, meaning they are not getting any treatment for the CLL. So what we have done is we have used the cohort of more than uh, 3,000 patients that were under wait and watch, and we used the database of one of our largest uh, HMO um, registry data. And we, ha we had more than 900 patients in this cohort who were taking or vitamin D itself or vitamin D analogs. And we were able to demonstrate that, that patients who took vitamin D, mainly vitamin D or also vitamin D analogs, uh, had a longer time to first treatment or treatment free interval. Or, so um, it was demonstrated to be as a, an approach for patients who want to do something proactive and doesn't need an active treatment for the CLL. Uh, prob probably a, now a prospective trial is needed because our study has the limitation of being retrospective study and might be that some of the patient bought the vitamin D out of the HMO. So we, we, we don't have that data.